product of primes given two numbers l and r inclusive so we can consider left and right inclusive find the product of primes within this range okay and this product can be very large okay so print the uh, product modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7 if there are no primes in that range you must print 1 okay so we are given with uh, l equal to 1 so l and r can be equal but okay so one case is straight away if l is equal to equal 1 and then r is equal to equal 1 because our prime numbers so we know our prime numbers our prime numbers start from 2 3 5 7 etc so what are what is the speciality for prime numbers they can only be divided by that number or they can be divided by 1 so only uh, it will be having only those two factors so so if uh, and 1 is not a prime number our prime number starts from 2 so if l is equal to equal to 1 and r is equal to equal to 1 just a base case we can just return 1 because that it is given here if there are no primes in that range you we need to say one so yeah that's it uh, now now what now uh, we can like uh, directly uh, manipulate this just uh, have a loop from uh, the left range to right range and check if each of the numbers is a prime or not if it is a prime just update it into the product uh, and uh, do the modulo operator operation then finally return the product so that's a straightforward approach so also one thing we can do if our l is given as one we can just update it to two okay uh, yeah it's uh, always start from two so there is nothing uh, wrong in that so for long i is equal to l i is less than or equal to r because it's inclusive i plus plus so we need some uh, other uh, variables we need a product variable which starts from one and this will be the one that we will be returning at the very end so we'll be returning this product and there is also a modulo value and it's a constant so let's have final long mod is equal to long 1 e nine plus 7 it's 10 raised to 9 plus 7 so if i is prime if e is prime of i okay then we need to update our product product is equal to product into i and do the mod mod so now just we are left with this uh, operation so it will be returning a, a boolean value so static boolean is prime and it will be taking a long value long number so for long i is equal to 2 i into i is less than or equal to number i plus plus if the property of prime number it can only be divided by its uh, by itself or one if it gets uh, divided by any other number then its modular modulus will be zero so if it is zero that means it's not a prime so we return false otherwise we return true so let's run it so here the time complexity will be big of here r minus l here we will be taking a big of r minus l and this is prime will be taking a big of root of i root of i so big of r minus l into root of uh, the number whatever the all the numbers so in max it will go beyond r so we can say big of r minus l into root of r so that will be the time complexity and space complexity we are not making use of any extra space so uh, it will be big of one itself so let's submit and okay it's pass 
So there is also one another method that we can make use of. It's uh, we all know sebo firastostenes, miratostenes. So what it means like if we say so we have two, three, five, seven, etc. as our prime number, and all its product two into two, three into two, five into two. All these values, whatever the product that we are getting after multiplying with any other number, those will not be a prime number. We can we understood that. So we'll be having a uh, we'll be tracking this. We'll be having a large array, a boolean array, and starts from two. Okay, and that value will be true. Now we have three. Uh, sorry, it will be false. False means it's prime. So three, it's also false. Now four. Four, we have two into two, which is equal to four. And if we get like this, then uh, it will be not a uh, what say not a prime number. So what actually it does means the product. Like if we do the multiplication, we will be tracking the multiplication table. Actually, like we have two, three, five, seven as our prime number, and all its multiplications, all other numbers like. If we multiply two by two into two, four, so we get four. Four is not a prime number, so we track it. Two into three, we get six. So six is not a prime number, we track it. Two into uh, four, eight. Eight is also not a prime number. So same way, three into two, six. Six will not be a prime number, so we track. Uh, so we track it inside our boolean array as not a prime number. Two, uh, three into three, nine is also not a prime number. Three into four, twelve. So like that. For every prime number, for every prime number, we will be tracking its multiples, like its multiplications as not prime number. So, uh, what it actually means? Uh, let me type here. Okay, what I am trying to say in this view. Okay, so we will be checking for every prime number. Okay, track its multiplications as not a prime number. So inside this, okay, inside this, like we start from two, and two is a prime number so it's false so if the particular value inside this boolean array is false that means we are having a prime number then we will be doing 2 into 2 4 we will be marking as true 2 into 3 we will be marking it as true 2 into 4 we will be marking it as true which means it's not a prime number this is just c of eratosthenes and its time complexity is big of n into log of log n i also googled it you can also google it it's available uh, here in Geeswag Excel. So, big of log into log of log n, and we are also taking extra space of big of n. So, we can also just try that approach here. It's uh, pretty same itself. So, for that, we need extra space, and it will be a Boolean prime tracker array, which is equal to new Boolean of. So inside this we need int int of r plus one. Now for int i is equal to two i into i i into i less than or equal to r i plus plus. So what I told if it is false, if it is prime, the value will be false. So if prime if not prime tracker of i then we will be mar marking its multiplications as true because those will not be a prime number so for int j is equal to 2 we will be starting from 2 j into i less than or equal to r j plus plus prime tracker of i into j will be made as true ok now we can just go through um for long i is equal to l 
i less than or equal to r i plus plus so if not prime tracker of int of i int of i then update the product product is equal to product into i mode return the product so here our c of error trustiness take big of n into log of log n so let's say it's maximum r so big of r into log of log r plus so we can say it's big of r into log of log of log r okay and this will be plus big of plus big of r minus l or l r minus l yeah let's see so this will be the time complexity and space complexity will be we are making use of extra space of big of r so we'll just compile and check whether it's also working fine yeah we get two time i just discussed this approach the other one is also enough but just uh, done with uh, making use of sieve approach also so i get time limit exceeded okay so somewhere i am doing for that prime tracker of i into j i into i is less than or equal to r i plus plus if not okay if not or let me do long then long this one is also made as int sometimes that can also happen okay now let's just check okay oh again wow i do i log i in the j is made as true one long i is equal to l less than or equal to r i plus plus if it is not a prime then we are tracking it okay that's fine here r into log of log r prime tracker of long j is equal to two j into i less than or equal to r it's perfect oh now i got it 48 again i don't know something with the uh, connectivity i don't know because yeah so you can also pass this test case uh the given so yeah that's it i don't know what uh why they showed a uh, time limit exceeded before sorry but it gets accepted as you see so i just have uh told two approaches and the uh, first approach is better is more better and here i just need to uh show about the c approach also that's why so that's uh today's problem product of primes